Hey guys, what's going on? Abby here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Destiny Item Manager. You guys had an overwhelmingly positive response to my first video on how to clean out your vault. So today we're taking a look at the loadout optimizer. I'm going to show you guys how to get the best stats out of the gear pieces that you have. But before we dive into it, make sure you guys hit that sub button if you haven't already, if you want to see more Destiny 2 videos, because I'm going to be putting out a ton once Beyond Light drops on November 10th. Also, if you guys are interested in an energy drink that is also keto friendly, check out Gamersups. Use code Abby for 10% off. All right, so let's get into it. We got DestinyItemManager.com pulled up here. This is actually the beta version, beta.destinyitemmanager.com. I would highly recommend checking out the beta version because you get to see features that are coming soon. But this is the homepage. DIM, if you don't know, Destiny Item Manager is an inventory management third-party website. It's free. All you got to do is link up your Bungie account. You can move stuff from your vault to your characters, vice versa. You can check out vendors. You can check out bounty progress. You can organize your vault. You can check out the loadout optimizer, which is what we're going to be checking out today. If you're not using DIM, this is literally going to blow your mind. I'm going to try to go fast because I did film this once and it was a really long video. So we're going to do take two. I'm going to go over here to the loadout optimizer tab right here. This is what we're going to be focusing on in this particular video. We're going to be making a quick build for a golden gun hunter using the celestial nighthawk helmet. You can also choose your other characters if you want. So you can choose that right here. So as we go through the loadout, I'm actually going to explain what's on the screen at the same time. So you guys can kind of see a practical application of it. So we'll see the three characters here underneath. We're going to see all of our stats and drop downs right next to them from tier one to tier 10. So that's going to be where we set up our selections for what we would prefer in our loadout. To the right, you can see all the loadouts that it's currently recommending us. Now, right now we don't have any preference in terms of stats or exotics or armor, anything like that. So all it's literally doing is finding the best loadout with the highest tiers total. So it's not taking into account any of our preferences. It shows us here we can get up to a tier 32, which is all of these stats summarized together. So you'll see here below the stats, we've got the checkbox for assume masterwork stats. I'm going to keep that checked because I want to see what my stats will look like after they're masterworked. I don't have that many pieces on Hunter masterworked yet, and I'd like to get there. So it's nice to just see kind of in the future. If you're setting up a build just for today or just to run the nightfall with your friends or something like that, you can uncheck this and then it's going to show you your current gear, whether it's masterworked or not. It's only going to look at the current stats of your gear. You can also do a minimum power level and minimum armor stat total, but I'm going to leave those at the default. And then going down here, we can select our mods, which is something we're going to get to later and we can select our perk. Now this is going to pull up all the exotic perks. So you can go through here and decide which exotic you want to kind of lock into place. And for us, it's going to be Hawkeye hack right here. Golden gun fires one high damage shot. So we're going to select that and then go down to select perks and that's going to lock our helmet in place. Now, the reason why we do this via the select perk option and not the pin item option where we can select the actual armor item is because in some cases you may have multiple of the same exotic and so you want to give the loadout optimizer the option to use either or depending on what fits your stats that you're looking for. So we're going to go back up to the stats. We're going to pop our recovery up to eight. I really like recovery. It's uh, reconfiguring our loadouts over here. You can also drag and drop these stats around if you prefer. So this is in order of what you think is most important. So if you really want high mobility, you can pop that up here and it's going to prioritize mobility for you. But for us, we're going to be going in recovery and then discipline or intellect. We'll have to play around mobility, resilience, and then strength. For strength, 
I don't really care that much about it. So we're going to ignore it. It's not even going to look at strength when it comes to calculating our total stats. And now you'll see in this loadout here, it shows T28 and then in parentheses T30. So it actually excludes the two from strength. And then important to note too, you guys, if you hover over the stat, on this loadout here, it's going to actually show you the number. So it says T8, but then when you hover over it, it shows you 83 out of 100. So that's how you know where you are kind of on that spectrum of like rolling over to the next tier. So for discipline, I want to be up at T5, same with intellect. And then mobility, I would like to have a little bit more mobility, but we are going to add in traction mods and powerful friends. So we'll see where that puts us in the end. I'm also going to drag resilience above mobility because I want to see what that does to our stats. So we got coming in here, eight recovery, seven discipline, six intellect, four resilience, and three mobility. So that's looking pretty good straight off the bat. We've got another one down here that is showing us a little bit less resilience, but one more mobility. So we could always swap those out if that's what we want. And then another thing we could do too is swap intellect and discipline and see what comes up. And it's actually from my first recording, <laughs> my golden gun load out here where we've got seven intellect six discipline eight recovery so this one is my favorite it's looking pretty good but we're going to add some mods to this as well which is going to change our stats so the loadout optimizer on dim by default does not include any stat mods that you have currently equipped on your armor. It strips everything away that it can. However, some of the mods that give you negative stats, so they'll give you a benefit for a penalty, those actually kind of screw with their system a little bit and may not always show the exact correct stat. So make sure you do take those off of your armor if you want the numbers here. But taking a look at the mods, we're also going to select mods. So we click on that. We know that we are definitely going to do traction. I always want to do traction. So we select that and it's going to pop it here on our legs. It does it automatically for you on the right mod that it's supposed to go on. If it's a mod that can go in multiple pieces of armor, it'll just plop it into the one that's appropriate. It also looks at all the other loadouts as well. So the next thing that we're going to look for is powerful friends here, and you can actually go up to the search and search for it. There's powerful friends, select that, plop that in. You can also do these multiple at a time but that's going to pop it in as well that takes us up to 62 mobility so we've got eight recovery seven intellect six discipline four resilience and six mobility now remember this is assuming we are master working all these pieces of gear so what we want to make sure to do before we finish this loadout is also put up here in the search bar now you can do any sort of searches up here and it's going to apply to your loadout but what we're going to do is power limit greater than or equal to 1360 especially with the power cap and beyond light coming out we want to make sure that none of our armor in this loadout is going to be sunset in a week <laughs> so we put in here power limit colon greater than equal 1360 that's the code in there that we want to put in now you could also do 1260 if you don't care if you're not looking for like masterwork stat type stuff and you just want to know right now what's the best loadout that I have. Then you can do 1260. It's going to filter it for you and show you the best results. But we're going to go ahead and put 1360 in here. And you guys can see that this is my best loadout here. The other thing that you guys can do if you're curious to compare your loadout with a different loadout that you've already saved on DIM or with what you have currently equipped, you can go here and the drop down will show you your different builds that you have. So for instance, if I wanted to compare this to my other golden gun, which I've since deleted some of the armor that I had in that loadout, if you want to compare it to what you currently have equipped, you could do that as well. Just make sure you don't save over a loadout because if you have a loadout and then you want to save it, it's going to overwrite your current loadout. So just keep that in mind. Also, if there's any armor that you do not 
want to look at. So say for instance, this cloak, I don't want that to pop up in my loadout for some reason. I can actually drag it over to the exclude way down here at the bottom, if you guys can see that, and just plop it in there and it's going to exclude that and see it took it away from my list. So that's a way to kind of exclude different items if you know something's got a different mod slot or something, even though in Beyond Light, that's probably not gonna be as much of an issue. And then I also finally wanna show you guys a quick way to kind of update your currently equipped items. So let's go back to inventory, which is gonna kind of refresh that loadout optimizer. We'll go back in and what we're gonna do is actually click this pin equipped. So that's going to pin our equipped gear, what we have on in the game. So as you can see, I have a dragon shadow loadout on. If you wanna unlock certain pieces and see what happens if you swap something. So say I wanted to look at some different legs here, right? Since these are not masked worked and all my other pieces are, except for my dragon shadow, I can click on this lock button unlock and now it's gonna show me different options for my legs. Now, let's say I wanna put my power power limit 1360 in here. That's going to get rid of those dream bane that were down there, but it's showing me these Coda boots, right? So it's going to actually show me if this is better than my current loadout. So I can also go to compare loadout, compare it to my currently equipped, which we already put in there. And then we can see how much of a change we've made. So we went from 47 intellect to 52. So these boots would actually bump me up into another tier of intellect. Everything else is the same strength. We also got bumped up another tier. So these are better boots for me to wear than the ones that I was wearing currently. So this can be a great way to look at one particular armor piece. And then once you've got your loadout good to go, all you have to do is hit equip and Dim is going to actually equip those items on your character. And then we go over to the game right here and we've got the items on. I may not look the best right now, but we've got our items on our character and you can see our stats here. Our stats are higher on Dim because we assumed that they would be masterwork. So everything is going to be bumped up by 10. And and that is it loadout optimizer in destinyitemmanager.com i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more dim tutorial type videos let me know down in the comments below i'll also be live streaming all the beyond light stuff over at twitch.tv abbyhour so go check me out over there and i will see you guys in the next video bye